Welcome everybody to Game Coding, Pygame Platformer Camera Basics. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add a camera to our simple platformer demo program. So hopefully you watched the previous pro uh, video. If you haven't, go back and watch that. So first I'd like to give a quick shout out to my members. Joining Kevin as a paddle member, third month of membership. Thank you so much is Paul. Very much appreciate that. And thanks to everybody else who has uh, supported the channel. If you'd like to support the channel directly, click join down below. So moving on, let's take a look at what we have so far. So this is our simple platformer. And I can move left, I can move right, I can jump, and the player falls off the screen, comes back to the top. So what we wanna do is make it so that there is a camera following the player. We're gonna do this as, as simply as possible. What we have now would work really, really well for a game like, say, Donkey Kong, where the screen doesn't move, just the player and the, the objects in the game. But what we wanna do is we wanna think like Mario, and we want the game, you know, the background of the game to scroll and the player to kind of stay on the screen. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is adding a camera. It's, it's actually fairly simple to do. So why don't we go ahead and get started? So to understand how a camera works, so let me bring that back up. Basically what we're gonna do is we're, we're just gonna worry about the X coordinate for now. So we want the player to stay basically centered and when the player moves, the background moves. So if I move to the left, you know, the player should stay in the middle, but the background should move to the right. If the player moves to the right, the background should move to the left because it is rel relative to the player's position. And again, it's fairly simple to do this. Now I'm gonna do this a little bit more complicated way just to give us some more options later. And to do that, I wanna create a camera, how can I say, a camera object or a camera class. So I'm gonna say class camera. And this is just so that we can keep track of where the camera is supposed to be. And we're gonna initialize it. And we're gonna initialize it with a starting X coordinate and a, well, we'll say with a starting object to follow. Now we, I could have done this with an X, Y coordinate, but we're gonna use an object. And so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call that the target. And so the one I'm gonna say is self.x equals target.x, self.y equals target.y. And this will all make sense uh, in a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then I've created the class, so that means now I need to go ahead and create the object. So I'm gonna just create that after I create the blocks. And I could have created it before, but it's gotta go after the player, and I'll explain why in a second. So camera, so I'll put a little thing here. So create camera object. So the camera equals a camera. And what I want this camera to do is to follow the player. Okay, so the camera in this particular game is gonna be centered on the player. Everything else is gonna be moving relative to that player. Now, let's look at the code again. Oops, player, uh, where was it, uh, camera. So our target is the player. So we set the camera's X coordinate to the target's X coordinate. We set the camera's Y coordinate to the target's Y coordinate, which of course is the player in this situation. And what we have to do now is to update our render method, because all the magic's actually gonna happen here in render. So I'm gonna go ahead and put player.render, player, and it's a little redundant because the player is actually following itself. Um, but we could change that. We could make it another object on the screen if we wanted to. And the blocks are also gonna be displayed relative to the player. Okay, so this is, this is the object that we are focused on. So I'm gonna go up to the render method and watch what I do here. Again, as I mentioned earlier, we're just gonna be dealing with the X coordinate. So when I draw this rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and put in here minus camera.x. And I also have to put here camera. Okay. 
because the render method now is sending the object that we want to follow. Okay, now, this isn't going to work yet. Uh, I'm kind of walking you through the process that I did when I was trying to figure this whole thing out. It took, it took me a couple tries, to be honest. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier, if the player is moving to the right, we want the background to move to the left and vice versa. That's why this is minus and not plus. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a result that we wanted. Um, now, it's not centered, so I'm going to try and move the player. Okay, so you see how the player is moving, or the background's moving, but the player's not. The player is staying stationary, okay? But the, or at least in the X coordinate. So everything's still working. It's doing exactly what we want it to do. It's just doing it a little bit off the screen, okay? And that's gonna be a very, very easy fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. I'm gonna put this and you notice how it was off to the left. So I'm just gonna add width, which was the width of the screen, divided by 2.0. That'll give us a little bit of an extra offset. And that'll put us back to the center. So now if the player moves left, okay, the player moves right. And that is keeping everything right where we want it to be. And if I fall off the screen, it resets right back to where we wanted it to be which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's that was it, actually. I had actually some extra code. Uh, my original version required a little bit of extra code, but I guess this is all we need uh, for that. Um, I actually had an update method, and uh, for this, I guess for this particular one, we don't need that, but uh, I did update it. Let's, let's just kind of play around with it, since, since this was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead. I just want to try this, because I haven't done it before. Um, I want to try the same thing with Y. You notice how in this particular thing, it still falls down, okay? And, and then it falls off. But what happens if we wanted to keep it centered? You know, I mean, in a game like Mario, which is what I'm kind of aiming for, I don't need to worry about Y. But you might want a game where, you know, the, the player can go up and then go up and then let's say there's another platform off the screen and that platform will come down. So let's see if we can add that. Again, I haven't tried that before, but let's give it a, let's give it a roll. Let's see what happens here. Um, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say minus camera, let's say minus camera dot Y. And I think this is gonna be minus because of uh, the, the reverse in the Y coordinate. The Y coordinate is positive going down. So let's just try that. I'm just kind of curious. I haven't tried this before. Okay, well, it kind of worked. So it is working. Uh, maybe that should have been a plus. I'm not sure. I thought that should have been a minus. but um, Or maybe this should be camera. That's minus. Well, let's try it. I'm not, I'm not really sure which one it's supposed to be. But it's only four possibilities. Let's just try them all. Okay, so that's kind of what I wanted. So you notice how the player is staying yeah, the player actually never moves. I'm gonna put my mouse there on the player. So the player doesn't move. Okay, but the everything else moves around it. So you can see how you know you could really build up a different type of game where it goes up and you know if you fall. Now if you fall, it falls off and it resets. But um, you could change those numbers later. So that's pretty cool. This is actually working out a lot better than I thought and it was actually a lot easier to do than I thought. Now that said, I'm gonna take that, that Y coordinate out of there just because um, I don't really need it for this particular type of game. I really, I'm gonna leave that out for now. Um, but uh, I'm gonna test it, oops, test it one real quick again, and left, right. Yeah, because I, I just, I want the, I want this to be more like Mario and less like uh, other games where you'd be moving up and down. And action. So that is that. Very, very easy. I was surprised at how easy that was. So let's, I'll just review real quick. Um, I created a new class called camera and the camera is set to the position of the uh, target, which in this case is the player. And so when we create the object and then when we render, we have to use the player as our object. And that's why, okay, that's why it worked. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, 
I didn't even actually, I, I realized I didn't even actually use the camera. <laughs> okay, so let's let's put the camera in there. That's why it was so easy. Um, so let's go ahead and run that, and I'll show you. Yeah, and now it's not working. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's genius. Uh, I'm gonna put camera here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. That should have been camera. Okay, so it's moving, but nothing else is moving now. Okay, and the reason is that I set this original location to the original location of the player. So now the player is moving, but I haven't updated the camera. And that's why I needed the update method. So I was, I guess I was right the first time. So I'm gonna make an update method for the camera. Uh, and I wanna I want to move it to the location of the player. And so up here in my camera method, or my camera class, I'm gonna say def update self and target. So what I need to do is I just need to keep updating the target. So self dot x equals target dot x self dot y equals target dot y now again if you don't if you're not really worried about the camera you just want to keep it directly focused on the player you don't need to do this but what i want to add later i'm not going to do it in this this video uh is i'll explain it in a second so okay now it's working uh back to the way it was um, what i want to be able to add is so that the player can move a little bit in this direction a little bit in that direction and then, and so, you know, it moves a little bit in here, so it doesn't always scroll, so the background doesn't scroll the whole time. That's something I'll add later uh, when I get around to it. But uh, I just wanted to get, this is what I wanted to get done and talk about how, basically how cameras work. So that is what I wanted. And again, it, again, if you're just gonna stay focused on that player, you can do what I did with the, uh, you can just basically skip the camera and uh, just update the render method. Um, so really, basically, if you were willing to just, you, basically this is the only thing you have to update um, here. And then instead of sending a camera, you would just send, you know, the, the target and that'll keep it focused. Um, the way I did it was so that eventually I could kind of play around with the camera physics and have, the, you know, I could actually have the camera shake and do things like that later. So that's why I, I did it with a camera object because uh, it gives you a bit more flexibility uh, later. So yeah, so it's, uh, that's it. Um, <laughs> hope that was uh, educational and uh, yeah, kind of interesting, different ways to approach things. So thanks for watching. Again, thanks so much to my members and if you'd like to join, uh, click join down below. And uh, yeah, keep on coding. Take care.